Hello Insomnias, I am your host Marion. Today I'll be checking out Dreamcatcher, the second full album, Apocalypse Save Us. This is part one of my reaction to the album. I'll be checking out all the group, basically group songs, 47 songs. I'll be keeping the solos for like part two of my reactions. I will do them. So yeah, my reaction to the album is going to be divided into two parts since this is a full album and I want to enjoy like and like grasp as much as possible each song and appreciate them. Anyway, let's start with the intro. It's called Save Us. Ooh. Creepy horror. Like the electric guitar was hitting so hard and then the I think they were like changing ammunition for the weapon. That's what happened in the middle. Feel like I locked inside the door. Cause so get me marriage. Come jong it watch up on inside the door. In young twingata. The instrumentals in this one is crazy. Who's the one that's right? I know Kader will I guess this is the break of the song. Whoa, that was amazing. I think this is one of my favorite Dreamcatcher songs in terms of instrumentals. They were crazy in the background. Like they added instrumentals and 
This one was crazy. I really loved Handong the most here, I think. Like her parts were so sweet and it reminded me how good Handong's vocals are. So I really like that about it. Then I think uh, Xion and Suwa's uh, high notes were amazing. But yeah, anyway, let's check Mezu. this was incredible i think i like it even more now like i think i listened to it like when i reacted to the music video and also like when i reacted to the showcase by the way be sure to check out that video i reacted to maison and always the performances live stages so yeah i think i like it even more now i think it's a masterpiece one of my absolute favorite i think especially like in terms of first listen i think i liked it even more probably than because uh, during first listen i think i liked it like one of my favorite team catchers by the tracks probably like Top three, maybe. Maybe it's too easy to judge, so I'm not gonna judge now. But it's, it's one of my favorite. Like vocal wise, they did an amazing job. I think Yuhyun and Jiu stand out the most. Personally, Shion, I didn't notice her most. Like she has two. She has like the second most lines, and Sua is last. But I actually noticed Sua more during the music video. It's probably because Sua had more screen time to balance things up. So I imagine that's why, because Sua, I really loved her in the music video. I think like, yes, you can see, okay, she has only 12 seconds, but no, those 12 seconds from Sua were incredible because she has that stage, I, I, I want to say stage present, because, but it's not because it's like music video presence. Like her presence in the music video was amazing. Uh, so yeah, that's what I wanted to say, like. They all did amazing. I really love the deep meaning behind this. I don't think like barely any group nowadays have like, uh, this type of meaning behind their song is just like love and i'm like okay i i love love but no i want stuff like this this is why i like to catch her more anyway let's check out starlight
wind blows. Is that a reference? I really feel like crying. Like we waited so long for this, and like when I got into Dreamcatcher at the end of 2019, after that we got so many Dreamcatcher content and songs. Like we basically got three releases back to back. Like we got three albums within a year. So like I was used to having like every three months expecting new Dreamcatcher songs. So when we finally like got this like or like this was announced i was like okay finally dreamcatcher is coming back we waited so long for this and it's really making me emotional because it, it's worth the wait so far like every single song is hitting i really love the choreo and yeah. Ooh, let's hope <laughs> i managed to finish part one of my reaction without uh, shedding any tears oh Oh. 
say that to you. Say that to you from. Sometimes I think we forget that, yes, the girls are doing an incredible job with each single song, but there's also like behind them, Lise and Olander, they are doing a phenomenal job with Dreamcast. Like, I'm glad they are still working there with them. I think they are like family now, and they are really doing justice to them. And like, you can feel like every single song, it might be different, different genre probably than the one previously, but you still like feel the Dreamcatcher sound and how i guess the production value how high it is and how like each song is thought out because oh my god like every single instrumental is added i think during the second half of the song they added like a couple of i don't know their names but like you can hear them they added like a couple of like extra instrumentals there i guess to change things up and so the, the song doesn't get repetitive but like please and around there you I just want to say thank you. You are amazing, and I hope you are. Keep working with Team Casher to the very, very end. Nicole, 
고개 언젠가 그랬었지 슬퍼하는 날 달래주던 너의 그 모습까지 This was such a beautiful song, like the meaning behind it, the lyrics, but also like in terms of instrumentals, like we are back to the instrument, but also in terms of vocals. I feel like this song, boy, this is my favorite on the album after Maison because it does showcase them. It's a vocal heavy song. It showcases how good they are. Oh my God, Shion, like you proved you are a main vocalist. You are incredible you young for me uh, personally like you can all oh, it can be easily a second main vocalist of the group your voice is fantastic who else who else who else do you i feel like here she didn't stand out that much but i feel like her part in maison like overshadows i guess this song so like it's fine for her maybe i didn't pay attention much because honestly i was like okay i was saying to myself oh handong and Gayon are really doing so well like i remember Maybe before, Dinkash didn't have that much of a fair line distribution, but I feel like they are having now. Or maybe their parts are like so good that I don't notice as much as before. Oh, they didn't have enough parts. I couldn't notice them. No, I noticed everyone here. I guess you probably the least. I would have to check out probably like I couldn't pay attention. Uh, but yeah, oh my God, this album, probably my favorite album this year. Oh, I still have Seven Doors, by the way. That was, oh my god, I don't know why I picked it twice, by the way. Like, this is album of the year contender for me, probably my favorite album. And I sit like in the first half of the album. This is crazy. What do you usually call this? This isn't an intro and this isn't an outro, obviously. Is this like a refresh before you jump into the second half of the album, I guess, with the solos?
this is giving me persona do you guys know the video game persona this part oh and it's over this is part one of the album like i don't think i have to add anything else because i did speak quite a lot in between songs but yeah this was let me like this i guess but this is for the for this only yeah so far incredible album right like one of my favorite if not my favorite i think this is like top two easily just like with part one of my reaction i still have like to check out the solos and like listen to it multiple times to like give it like a fair judgment and see maybe like some song will go even on me even more some of them maybe get i don't know but i don't think with dream catch i always like their songs even more whenever we listen like i said previously i think my favorite k-pop album so far is the tree of language but this is honestly up there might probably rival it i have to check out the solos like i can't believe it we waited this long and dreamcatcher delivered like this should be the slogan for dreamcatcher always deliver because that's what they did and i'm so proud of them i can't believe i got emotional during always uh, anyway guys thank you for watching i'll see you guys for part two of this album bye bye